Hi, this is a reading for you. It is not attached to a timeline nor a zodiac sign. The intention is if you come across this reading, it should benefit you in some way. If you enjoy it, feel free to like and subscribe. If you want to join us for the extended version of this reading, that is always available on my Patreon, which is in the description below. I do take personal readings as well, which you can access through my website, also in the description. Now, justice, fair-minded, level-headed, cool, calm, collected, with an understanding of what is to come. There's inspiration, there's movement, there's creativity, there's optimism coming back in, fucking finally. Behind you, it's been this long drag of, I'm going to say burden, needing to really keep your composure, you know, um, mind over heart kind of thing. Now, to clarify this, I feel like you've also started to conserve your energy a little bit more. I feel like you're very focused on most likely work or your stability or something of that nature, building some kind of foundation for yourself, especially with the King of Wands and your outcome, because the King of Wands is very entrepreneurial. You know, he's self-built. He also worked for everything he had. He, he's built himself to a king. It wasn't handed to him. This was through innovation, through creativity, through passions. And I think that you're going to see some rewards because of that. And I think, you know, some people in the outside influence may feel sort of at a disadvantage in some way, or it, you know, I'll say this though, in your personal relationships, it seems like one would only be focused on you. Um, especially if it's like a romantic context, that might be good to hear. I don't know. Um, maybe that's a confirmation for someone, but you know, their defenses are down. They're not doing anything. You know what I'm saying? And I'll say this too, because I thought this also on that same note, if this was a reading where you sort of parted ways from someone, you know, they're just not doing anything with their like non-trying self. So just go ahead and forget about it. But either way, I, you know, this is about taking care of yourself. I think that you sort of are at a halt with certain things. And you might even feel a little bit standoffish as far as like an emotional vulnerability. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I, I still kind of get this feeling of um, defenses being up, but it's mostly because whoever this is has been through a lot and they're sort of coming to a place of defending but in a not in a this is not an aggressive tone. Again, we have justice. So this is in a very balanced manner. Two minutes. This is you sort of moving toward an expanded world and that world coming right at you as well. You know, in a lot of ways, I feel like a lot of this turmoil comes up from a resistance to really just sort of finding peace. <laughs> um, I feel like you're leaving behind old chapters in life. And this would be in your advice, right? So this is um, 
not settling for temporary celebrations, not settling for um, you know, somewhere that you're not really content or not really fulfilled. You know, I don't, I feel like there's sort of a battle internally through, but it, it's kept to yourself. And I, and I feel like you're really giving a sincere effort in all this. And this does bring a, a very prosperous outcome. It could even, you know, especially in love, I could see it as like, you know, this whole debate or fiasco and then things being sort of resolved. <clears throat> but Overall, it, it really just sort of talks about elevating yourself and it, it talks. So the last outcome was the King of Wands, right? And to me, this suggests yet further progression because we, we have that we have almost elevating above the King of Wands because he's leaving behind old things in order to, you know, gain perspective and wisdom, climb the hill of the hermit, you know, um, in fact, the hermits in the outcome here as well as the emperor. So he's, he's sort of walking away from old ways of being and moving on to the Hierophant, which people come from all over to hear the Hierophant speak because the Hierophant is profoundly wise. He can change your entire understanding of reality. He also represents institutions, higher commitments, higher education, anything like that. Religion, even if that fits in whatever way. Um, and there's opportunities in the outside influence. You have the Ten of Cups, so it seems like a very happy scenario. We also have the Chariot, so there's motivation. And again, in this outcome, you know, there's the Emperor, the Star, the Hermit, and the Eight of Wands. I also feel like you might draw a lot of attention in some way. Um, this would be good, though, because I could see this as people coming together, but these would all be on sort of an equal playing field. It would be um, beneficial collaborations or relationships. And so this is the direction you're being indicated to, to go. I, and it feels like you're already there because I keep wanting to tell it as a narrative as if it's already happened, um, even though it is in your advice. So if that's the case, basically, it's just keep on going, you know. can expect wow I feel like something is going to shine light on what keeps you impoverished or held back maybe you don't even see this coming because it seems like you sort of let down your defenses maybe or um, hmm. This could also be about temptation and having to make certain judgment calls in the future. Um, if that fits. Yeah, I, because I also kind of feel like you might be ignoring certain things that that are, you know, important. But you're, you, you lose fear around it, especially with the Aries moon thing. You know, that that is going to be a moon of confidence. Um, you might communicate things that you maybe wouldn't have before. You may get really tired of settling in a scenario and just sort of voice your opinion and go from there. Um, I do suspect very sudden changes be due to very sudden realizations or powerful realizations. And it's almost like, I feel like you might have people confused in some way, especially if you're sort of manifesting a lot or, or doing a lot, because there's a lot of, there's this massive feeling of like a lot of energy being moved and a lot of people maybe either observing that or sort of waiting to see what happens. And I want to say there's something about, you know, balance in this because there, it sort of notes taking time to rest 
and contemplate, but with a sense of gnosis, knowing, understanding, the sort of the state of mind where you can feel everything coming. Because when you can do that, it's hard to describe, but people, or not people, but um, this is energetically, having, having active and conscious efforts mentally and energetically, and that doesn't mean physical action or movement all the time. There, there's a need for contemplation and for things to sort of unravel, but in a informed way, if that makes sense, it's something that you're consciously putting out. Healing. Harmony in the home and good, great friendships. True healing of the mind, body, and soul. Creates an energetic blueprint for a party, fantastic party or event. You bring light to the world. So this is really a lot about a healing process as well. Um, and coming to understand yourself. And maybe finding peace in your relationships, in your home, and all that, right? Um, and this kind of allows you to balance out and be authentically you and bring light to the world, you know? So thank you for joining. If you enjoyed this reading, do feel free to like and subscribe. The extended version will always be available on my Patreon. Again, first link in the description below. If you want to book a personal reading with me, you can access those through my website, which is also in the description below. Check me out on TikTok, Instagram, I'm Southern Goth on all platforms. Watch out for scammers. And yeah, have a great day.